Well, how did you guys meet? What's, what's the O'Day family oh, story? What, good one. what was the flashpoint here? It was a good one. We were in uh, the same introductory speech class in college, which is a requirement at the University of Florida. You were college sweethearts? We were college oh, sweethearts. Oh, oh, that's too great. It's the best day of his life. So, <laughs> you know, a lot of the majors at University of Florida require you to take this public speaking class. Yeah. yeah. And I saved it. I thought I might get drafted. I didn't get drafted my junior year, so I saved it for my last, <laughs> my fourth year, and I happened to be, it's like a second period class, eight in the morning, yeah. and I'm, I'm not a morning person, and she was working a, another job at the time, so we were both the last people to come into class, so we would always sit in the back. We would sneak in the back, and our teacher, luckily, rest in peace, Mr. Bob, was yeah. so old, he wouldn't even see us he walk see in. Him. So we would come in late, yep. and so we ended up sitting next to each other every day in class, um, you know, for some fortuitous reasons, and then we got to know each other and uh, started dating there. And that, what year was that? 2004. 2004. So, Liz, we know the we know the pace of Major League Baseball. We also know the pace of network news. Uh, that's a real that's a real pressure cooker world that you work in and have worked in. I've been really, really blessed in my career. I've just been able to make some connections that have offered me new opportunities because I've always had to sort of work around Darren's career, mm -hmm. and especially once we had children since they took the priority. But I think, especially with us prioritizing our health and, and being very honest with each other has helped me really succeed and stay in, in the business. And I also think COVID was actually a really good opportunity for us to spend more time with them and also mm -hmm. doing more things at home, working at home, afforded me opportunities to sort of stay at the network level and pitching ideas. But like you said, in order to stay relevant, you just always have to think one step ahead. You always have to think of ways that you can stay relevant and survive in an era where there's always going to be someone younger, healthier, and able to work longer hours than you. But we've been able to we've been able to manage it. Just a lot of compromise. But also another big part of network news is your body is a machine too. Your package is a machine too. Uh, most network correspondents and anchors I know are aware of their appearance because whether it should be or shouldn't be, right. it's part of the process. It's part of the ratings. It's part of why people watch, and it's why they watch this anchor or that anchor over another anchor. That's just kind of how humans are hardwired. So that nutritional component and how you eat has been equally important to you in your career as it eventually became to Darren. Sure, <laughs> well that's, career, a, so. that's a big conversation that we've had over the past couple years mm -hmm. is I, I told Darren, and by all means, we're still very, very young, but for me to manage a household with three very young kids, some of which are not in the public school system yet, and to prepare for a morning shift, which requires preparation the night before and then getting up, you know, between three and five sure. o'clock in the morning for whenever the segment airs. I actually told him just recently there's sacrifices that I need to make. I can't eat the way I used to eat. I can't drink the way I used to drink, not just for physical reasons, but also because I can't emotionally, mentally, and physically perform with sure. some of the women who are maybe 26 years old and don't have even a dog at home to manage and they can get up and do the morning shift and take a nap. There's really no naps when you have three kids. Right. And if you want to perform at that level, you can't necessarily eat and survive the way that you did in your 20s. So that's been a huge motivation for us to be more aware of what we're putting in our mouths. And even if it comes to us eating farm fresh eggs, I'm certain that we can buy them at the grocery store, but we can also pick them in our backyard. Yeah. And making those conscious decisions has actually helped me to stay relevant, to stay able to perform, especially while trying to do it all.